All right, so if you want to learn how to extrude transparent PNGs into images, I don't really know, you kind of just follow steps or something. So anyways, let's just delete all of this, right? Sorry, my fusion comp is like laggy as hell, so stuff just doesn't want to go. Anyways, let's start with like funny Discord logo, okay? Congratulations, let's go. Um, now we are just gonna resize it to 1920 by 1080, so you can see here, he's a big boy, and now it's a small boy. Now, we're just gonna mask it, and then make it white. And it's really important that we do this to make it white, because what we are going to do is we are going to plug this into an s -trace create node. Keep in mind, extruding transparent PMGs is really only good for when you're working with just basic logos or something like that. And I don't know, that's basically it. So, anyways, if you want to get the S Trace Create tool, what you want to do is you want to install um, Reactor. I'm assuming you already have Reactor, so I'm not going to tell you how to really get it. But it is a Crocodile tool within Reactor. So, to get that, you just download it off Reactor. So, boom, it's right there. Crocodile for uh, Fusion slash Resolve Studio. Anyways, once you have that, go to S Trace Create, and you kind of just have it do its magic which essentially creates a vector thing out of an image and that's pretty cool you can like change this stuff around if you want but it usually works default then you plug it into a shape create 3d which then does exactly what it's supposed to do it creates a shape from vector thing and obviously it's completely paper thin because we haven't done shit with it yet so in order to extrude it legitimately right here i don't know if there's a button that says extrude it doesn't do shit but there's a slider, which, surprise, surprise, it does extrude things. Look at that. And then you can like do a couple things, like you can bevel it straight in the tool, kind of just make it look just a bit smoother. But there's also a bunch of other fusion tools for 3D that I am not aware of or know how to use. You have all of these stuff that I'm not experienced with. So if you want to experiment, go for it. And like you can like light your shit. But anyways, that's really how you do it. It's, uh, that's basically it. I don't know.